Uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you. Uh, first to the speakers. I think it's amazing what the all people do. I always amazed. So I think I hope that you enjoyed it as well as me. And also thank you to the organizer. It's a very great event, so it's nice to be here. But still, I'm honestly, but I'm honestly, I really don't like to stand in front of a huge audience and talk. What I like is to help. That's why I actually founded in 2009 a project to collect sunglasses for the people who live in the remote areas of the Himalayas. The picture behind me was taken in the northern part of India, in an area known as Ladakh. It's a beautiful remote part of the world, but the people are poor, but full of love and happiness. The first time I went there was in 2004. I was just on vacation, just riding a motorcycle, exploring the area and loving the, the, the country and getting in love with the people actually too. But I realized that not many of the locals were wearing sunglasses. And up in the Himalayas, you probably know, it's, very, it's a real problem because of the very intense glare of the sun. The sun can be very intense, relentless and unforgiving. I found out during my trips that around 80% of the population have eye infections and some of them are even getting blind. Simply because they have no means of protecting and no protecting of the eyes and from the intense glare of the sun. So I was wondering, how is, to, how is it possible? But the answer is actually simple. Most of them are not aware how the sun could damage the eyes. Also, so they are, very, they are very poor that they do not know how to feed the family the next day. So to get sunglasses is the least of their concerns. So after my first trip, I went back to Munich, went back to my job, running a coffee bar. But I never stopped thinking about this eyesight problem and the solution could be so simple. You know, sunglasses. They just need sunglasses, right? <laughs> so I started thinking of ways to help. I could co collect sunglasses, but how? I could send them around the world, but how? I could get them into the hands of the people who need them the most, but how? And when you start to explore the how, is when things start to happen. I started advertising the idea in my coffee bar, and from there it began to work. The sunglasses arrived. The funny ones, the metal ones, the pink ones, you know, <laughs> more sunglasses I have ever seen. <laughs> and meanwhile, I set up almost 20 collecting stations in Germany. I also work in addition with sunglass manufacturers in Germany, Austria and in France. And I also work with optical stores who donate second-hand and also new sunglasses. Until today, we have collected close to 15,000 pieces. <laughs> but how to bring them up to the Himalayas, to the people who need them the most? You know, in the beginning, I hand carried in little bags in the plane the glasses into India and gave them around I gave them away during trips on my motorcycle. So step by step I got get better connected and currently I'm working with the Tibetan healthcare center uh, in the area together. So far we have handed out around 4,000 of the 15,000 UV-protected, cleaned and tested glasses. And I actually just came back from a trip from... I was there in, in September for five weeks. And this time, I was supporting a free eye screening and surgery camp up in the mountains. Close to 3,000 people were screened and more than 200 
100 people underwent eye surgery. So with my new ambassador of France, Sean Nerer, I got on a motorcycle tour around the region. We explained to the people how, how important it is of wearing sunglasses in these remote areas. And again, we handed out sunglasses just out of our suitcases. And believe me, experience the pure happiness and gratefulness of the people who read this simple ad <laughs> is unbelievable and very hard to describe, actually. <laughs> so as you can see in the pictures, they are very full of love and joy and they're just so happy to receive this thing, simple thing, actually. You know, for us, it's just normal. <laughs> That submission doesn't stop. <laughs> She's good, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. They're really funny ones, actually. But they are so nice, you can take them to the picture so easily to them, because they are so poor and they are so, I don't know, it's very hard, really hard, very hard to describe. You know, if you get once a chance, you should go up there and, and visit the area. It's a beautiful area. It's Ladakh, it's like between uh, Pakistan and Tibet. So it's very close to the Tibetan border, and it's just an hour flight from Delhi, so it's very close, somehow. <laughs> but anyway, but the mission doesn't stop actually by just handing out glasses. We have to make them to understand how important it is to wear these sunglasses. That's why I have two essential goals for the next years. Number one, I would like to build up lo local education camps in cooperation with medical authorities. Number two, I want also, as it's very important, to professionalize the transport to the Himalayas with the help of a sponsor who wants to deal with the logistics and, and customs. And our vision is to roll out the project into the whole Himalayan region including Nepal, Bhutan, and Tibet. For this vision, we need followers and supporters who help to bring this project, this simple project, to the next level. So the shades are the thing that protects people's eyes. You just put them on and they do their job. And the love is the thing that makes it all happen. That's why I called the project Shades of Love. Thank you. <laughs>